please. Everybody clear the pod. Pretending to be an astronaut, Matthew appears to be on top of the world. But the reality is, he's in the middle of a very down-to-earth gamble. Matthew and Tony, you guys watching me, right? The video with a feature film crew and Hollywood soundstage is costing more than $100,000. And let's roll video, please. Music playback, please. There are serious questions. Will MTV pick up the video? Will the record get airplay? And most important, will the album sell? MTV is basically a national radio station. In the past, radio drove the music business. Now, if you can get a a song in heavy rotation on MTV, you're going to have a hit. (laughs) And Matthew knows that. Still working towards the wait list. (laughs) And playback, we are rolling. I'm not really sure what the song's about. I, just, I haven't figured it out yet. But the 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 title and that and the the central lyric is the big question: where where do you get love? Whether where where you get it isn't ever explained in the song. At this stage in his career, Matthew may have more questions than answers. But in the spirit of titles like Sick of Myself and 100% Fun, he doesn't take himself or those around him too seriously. He sings, Am I the Whore You're Working For? on a Hollywood set where dozens of people are catering to his every need. The irony is hard to miss. to be perfectly honest. But it's fun, you know, it's, just, it's a short term commitment as opposed to a feature which eats up two years of your life. This is like just sort of a a um, one night stand so to speak. <laughs> I think that what Matthew Sweet wanted to do when he left Lincoln was to get to the point where he could make records for a living. He's there. Regardless of whether Blue Sky on Mars is a top 40 or top 10 album, he's there. I mean, for me, I achieved, you know, a million times what I ever would have dreamed of. You know, all I wanted to do in the beginning was just I was in, interested in recording and instruments and music itself for purely selfish purposes you know it, it made me happy and kind of gave some kind of purpose to my life he wants to be able to make records that's what drives him so at that point he's already a success is he going to become a commercial big star is he going to be the next Bruce Springsteen no 
I mean, the music doesn't have that kind of calculated universal appeal that, that came with, let's say, the Springsteen uh, Born in the USA record. Can he sell a million records? Sure. Will it happen with this record or not? Who knows? Because this is really a big crapshoot. But I think as long as he can keep making records and keep making a living off of making records, he's a happy boy. Short and long. What happens if um, alternative music doesn't stay hot? Who knows, you know? If anything, it makes me almost feel more hopeful because... I never really exactly fit in, so maybe like if it's a time where there's kind of no exact thing happening, it might be good for me. I'm not really sure. It's either that or I'll be thrown in with the grunge era and slowly forgotten from this point forward. <laughs> Which is what happens to most people. <laughs> <laughs> 